Hi, I'm Dave Brown and you join me today on round three of the Wolves AA three day festival. We fished Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday at Wumburn on the Staffs Worcester, Thursday at Pendiford on the Shropshire Union Canal and we're back on the Staffs Worcester today in Penkridge. And I've drawn peg 51 on the boat length, which I'm quite happy with. Catch a few fish here, I should catch a few fish here. I was told I was on the aerial, but I'm three pegs short of that. I'd have preferred to have been there, but I'm not disappointed where I've drawn. So hopefully we'll catch some skimmers and a net full of roach. Roach on squat and hemp, and then maybe a few skimmers, bream on worms and maggots. We'll see how it goes. I've set up an array of rigs to cover everything, because when this lock opens, when boats come through this stretch here, and the locks open, the water rips through, so you've got to have a variety of rigs to cope with those conditions and fishing up in the water and what have you. We'll see how it goes. I've got a lot of rigs set up for it and hopefully I've got it all covered. Right, so I'm going to kick the match off by feeding perhaps five balls of grain bait over onto my squat line, which is going to be two lines, one up the shelf and one down the shelf. And I've mixed up Sonia Bait's black, a little bit of skimmer, sweet skimmer, uh, black roach, bag of each of black roach and black, and then I've just a little bit of river, a little bit of sweet skimmer to give that extra bit of smell. And I'm going to feed that up and down the shelves and then feed squats over the top. Down the track, I'm going to feed worms and casters and hopefully snare a few perch and maybe a bream. There is the odd one around here, but um, we'll see. And, and then I'm going to fish hemp either side of those squat lines and hopefully catch some roach on that. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to Maybe put a little bit of bread on a short line, top two and one. I haven't quite decided on that yet, but we'll see how it goes when we start. See what this flow is like and boat traffic. But hopefully we'll have a nice day on squat and hemp. Fingers crossed anyway. So I've set up various rigs for the squat fishing, well squat and pinky. And I've got a 0.6 rig for when it's really pulling in the deeper water. And I've got 0.3 a 0.1 and a 3b8 for if it's really hard and I need to try and find fish throughout the layers of the water. Um, but if we get plenty of boats, that shouldn't be an issue because this length, when we do get plenty of boats, it really, really moves back and forth. So hopefully we'll get lots of boats and I've got to put lots of bait in. That's how you usually get your weights together on this place is when it's moving. If they've got to swim, they've got to feed, is the old saying. And I believe that to be true on here especially. That doesn't help the track so much if you get lots of boats, but I won't be that concerned because I'll have the far lines to catch on anyway. And then hopefully end up last couple of hours in the match, catching one or chuck on the seed. We will see. I'm gonna put a bit of bread in at them. Put a little bit of bread in while it's not moving. Sorry? That's it, we're all in. Okay, all in. Scattered them about a little bit just so as it gives me various areas to hopefully pull a few fish into. 
I'm going to feed two end ploughings, the one on the, uh, on the left, I'm going to cup some in, and the one on the right, I'm just going to lose feed. When I put it in, I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake out. That's it. I'm going to put a few worms. A bit overboard maybe there, but oh well. Right down the middle. Quick look. We'll have a quick look on that inside on the bread and see if we can get an early fish on it. Dead organised here I am. Which one is it? That one? No. There it is. That's how organised I am. Useless. Believe it or not, that piece of bread's been in there since Wednesday. That's how good these boxes are. It's kept it fresh for three days, even in this heat. I used that on the first day at Wombard. As you can tell, I probably haven't caught a lot of fish over the last few days on bread, because I'm still using the same piece. So you can get a quick start on the bread there. Right, so the first day was at Wumburn and I drew an MPEG there, um, just up from the Wagon and Horses pub, which I quite fancied to be fair, because there's usually a boat moored on it. Oh, oh, hello, that's a nice start. Oh, look at that. Oh. Nice skimmer that was. That was a lovely fish that was. I don't believe that came off. Ah oh dear. There's my bonus gone. That was a pound fish that was. Have to edit that bit out. <laughs> I don't believe that. You wouldn't believe how much effing and blowing I'll be doing now if this, this camera's weren't on me. Oh, it was a beautiful fish that was. All right, so the lock's open. There's uh, it's open that way. Them draining water off it, so there's obviously a boat on its way up. Right, so as I was saying, first day, I drew an MPEG at Wumburn, and. It was a very hard match. I started off really well on the squat and pinky. I had a few fish down the track on worm and caster in the first two hours. And then the last three hours, I've hardly had any indications at all. Really difficult. But I've ended up with five pound three to win the money section and finish second in the 19 peg zone. So I put Perfect start. Don't you dare fall off. Oh, such a skimmer. Get in that back. Beautiful. What a start. He'll do. Cracking start. 
I'm glad I decided to put that bread in at the start because I was humming and hawing whether to do it or not. Nice to catch another one of them before the boat comes because there is definitely one on its way. But I can't complain at that start. Let's try a bigger piece of punch. We'll go with a six mil. Locks opening again, look. Tanking through. Ooh, something had a go. Lovely roach. Being a bit brave there, swinging those. Another six mil punch. Using three slip here, original slip. Perfect for this. And it's deep, slightly deeper water. Now something else just had a little tap then as it went past. So yeah, like I said, first day finished with five pound three ounces. Oh, it's a little fish having a go at that there. And finished second in my 19 peg zone, which I was over the moon with. And then the yesterday at Pendiford, I've drawn in the bays, right in the middle of the bay. And I wish I hadn't done to be honest, because it's one of them areas where there's bream there and I've just gone for it. I've tried to catch bream and I blew out big style. Um, I've had a few little skimmers and roach and I've ended up with a level three pound, which was absolutely no good. Uh, I think I finished 12th out of the 19, an absolute disaster. Let's try a smaller punch. That bigger punch is not not any good. So yeah, it's wrong size. So festival over really. Um, I'm on 14 points at the minute. I suppose if I could get a zone win today, you could end up with one of the le lesser prizes, but we'll see. I've got some section money coming back from the first day, so festival's pretty much paid for. Oh, rubber boats, two of them. That might be the end of this line. I'll quickly go under before he gets there. Oh, he's already put it in reverse. Oh, now he's sped up. Go on, quickly go under. That's it, that's that gone. Come on, mate. I see me getting another bite there now. I'll feed it in a sec. Once this one's gone through, I'll feed it again and leave it for a minute or two till it settles down again. I'll have a quick look on the squat and pinky. It's usually a kiss of death on the inside line, that is, when bark goes through. Get off it. Mm. 
Ooh, these sections are a bit hot. <clears throat> Quick look down the shelf over there. We'll go with a bronze pinky. It's a 0.6 rig that in that deeper water. There we go. A roach. Oh, it's about coming the other way as well now. Hopefully we get a few boats and that will keep the water moving and keep the fish feeding. more boats you get, the more movement you get, the more you've got to feed. You get ten weeks shaded spot and you've got full sun, haven't you? I know. <laughs> Burn to a crisp, old bee. Oh, that's a better fish. Nice roach, by the looks of it. Not that big, but he'll do. One of them a chuck would be nice. Beautiful. He's taking his time, this one. What are you doing there? Is he snagged up over there? I think he's snagged. <clears throat> Keep that feed going in. It's a bit difficult trying to feed it as well because it's quite a light bait. And it's a bit windy, and it's, uh, it's difficult trying to get these squats over there. You've just got to keep trying getting it in there. Mm. Just fish about. I might put this line down on this rig, it might be a little bit too long. I'll do that now actually. Put a plummet on the hook so as I don't get hooking anything up. Trim this rig down a bit. Right, so we're an hour into the match now. And after that disastrous start of losing a, a bream first chuck on the bread. I've gone back in and had another one straight away. Happy days. A uh, couple of little roach on it after that. And then the boats have gone over it and it's ruined it basically. So I've left that alone. I've gone over on the squat and pinky and I've started catching a few dumpy roach. Not too bad to be fair. And uh, it is a bit slow because like, when the canal's still, you're struggling to get a bite. Uh, book out to my right, had a big bream just, just past the track, so I thought it was time to have a quick look on mine, um, on the worm, and I had two, two roach, one of them's got to have been a pound, and then the next one probably six ounce. So, happy with that, but then about going over that again, and couldn't get a bite after that again. So I'm now back on the squat and pinky, 
trying to pull one of these together. And it's not easy. There are fish there, but it's not easy. She just had a bream down there, look. Um, I've probably got close on, I've definitely got over four pound. I wouldn't have said five, but I've definitely got over four pound, which ain't a bad start, first hour. Would have been nearer six if I'd have got that first one out. But never mind. Mm, I'll still keep trying to put a few fish in the net for now. And hopefully, they keep coming. Mm. It's better when it's moving like this, I mean, it's, it's absolutely ripping through at the minute, and that's because the lock's been opened. And that's when you're getting your bites. Oh, miss that one. I'm really struggling to get my bite over there. The wind's coming through between those bungalow type buildings there, and it's just whipping my bait all over the place. It's not an easy day. I start to feel a bit of amp over my squat line as well, because I'm really struggling to get my squats over there. I need to keep some bait going in to keep the fish in my peg. Like I said, it's not easy. Oh. Finicky they are. Let's top this line up in a sec for another ball of ground biting, I think. And go a bit tighter to the tins. Really struggling to get that bite over there. And there you go, the flow's completely stopped again. So I'm dragging the flow to bit. There, so there's not that much being caught at the minute. There's a few fish being caught. Like I say, Bucko next to me has had a decent fish. And I've just seen the chap to his right, he's had one as well from over. So lots of fish to be caught. Some decent fish in the area. Hopefully I'll catch a few more. And I don't like it when it doesn't flow. Another ball on that line and get up against the tins. <clears throat> trying to keep my ground bait covered because this sun's really hot. I don't want it drying out in this sun. Put an empty bowl on top of it. Try to keep it covered. Oh, I'll put another section on going in the shallow water. Actually, if I try that rig, there's not a lot of flow. It's a 3 by 8 rig, this one. This will be a nice slow fall. While there's no flow on, this might be the key. Again, a few more bites, we'll see. Boat on its way.
Oh, something like that on the way down there. Just before the boat. Oh. Little monkey. There you It's not that easy. Still using a bronze pinky and I'm looking them upside down so I'm looking them through the thin end. Using size 22 natural N10. Oh, so that's a 3B8 float that is. So it's a slow fall through the water. There's a better one. Could be a perch, that could. Oh, that's a roach. Lovely. Way off bottom that one was. I held it, put it in a bit short of, of the tins. <clears throat> try that again and try and get some feeding again to keep putting some MP in. And hopefully when the wind drops I can get some squats over there. Okay, I'll face it now. They're a nice fish, these. Got a mark on the pinky. These are nice stamp fish, they though. Ounce and a half, two ounce. Be happy if I can catch them, keep catching them. Right, so I'll keep trying to put a few of these together and we'll catch up again in a bit. Right, so we're now three hours in, two hours left, and the squat fishing is virtually dead. Really struggling to get a bite on it. It was expected that, to be fair, with how bright it is and no cover. But I've fed some worming ground bait at 13 metres, just down the shelf, up my peg. And I've tried worm over the top of it, never had an indication. Put two maggots on and just sat there and waited and I've had a three pound bream. So, happy days. And I'm just sitting there now for a bit, try and catch me another. Uh, I've probably got around about eight pound, which is, is okay, it's pretty good to be fair. Um, I know somebody about five pegs to my left has got around 14 pound, but he's had four bream. So hopefully I can snare a couple more off this line. You never know. I need this to work though, because like I said, the squat line is virtually dead. I've not had a bite on M and I can't get a bite on the, in the track on the worm or the caster, so I'm pinning my hopes on this line and hoping that some more bream will show up. 
So don't feel like I'll catch much else the way it's going. But I'll not complain with eight pound at this stage. Never know them empty fish might turn up late on as well. If I catch a couple more bream, I won't be that bothered. So we'll keep going and we'll catch up with you again a bit later on and see if I've managed to catch any more. Right, so we've got an hour to go and it hasn't been brilliant. I've had another bream on this same line and it's got to be three pound again, which is a big bonus. Um, the squat line was virtually dead until I just had this lovely lady come past in a boat and absolutely rip it across the far bank, turn the engine right up, just because I asked her to drive down the middle, basically. But it actually did me a favour, put another ball of ground bait in there and I caught a few more roach there, so it did help. I've gone from catching absolutely nothing to having another six or seven fish, so it was a bonus. But, uh, it's not been brilliant. But I've probably got, well, I've got double figures in the net, so I'm really happy about that. Um, Nobody is catching a lot around me, so I'm doing all right. There's one big bream weight up there. Where's that? He's probably got nigh on 20 pound. And they're catching either side of him as well. Neil Dalton, to my left, packed up and gone home. He's had enough and there's not a lot happening to my right either. Oh, for sure I've just missed a bite then, looking away. <coughs> mm, did I? This is pulling a bit, he might have dragged under. But yeah, it's not been, it's not been that entertaining. There's not been that many fish feeding. But like I say, I'm quite happy with what I've got on a tough day. Hopefully it'll win me some section money. But we'll see. I'm sure that was a bite I missed. That could have been another bream, that could have, because I've only had two bites on that line. <clears throat> and both of them have been bream. They haven't really wanted it when it's been towing. The bream haven't, they've wanted it quite still. But then the roach on the squat line if it's not moving, you don't catch. So I've been tending to sit when it's not moving, sitting on the bream line. When it is moving, I'm trying to catch roach. But like I said, we've got an hour left. There's still time for another one or two bream if I have a go. Or maybe a few more roach. The emp has been a waste of time, not caught anything on that. It's not been an easy day at all. But hopefully I've done enough to win me some money. Well, we've not got long left now, like I say, an hour. So you'll join me at the way in and you can have a look at these lovely bream I've caught. <laughs> quick go on the maggot again, see if I can catch me a bream. It's been in there 30 seconds and gone under. I was toying with the idea of staying on the squat line, to be honest, because I was catching steady. I thought I'll have one quick look while it's not moving and see if I can catch me one more. And lo and behold, It's gone under. Get in there. Lovely. Sorry, mate. Yeah, you're all right. Let's carry on. Carry on. Go on, go on. Tell you what, that'll go well towards the target. <laughs> yeah, thank you. There's another two and a half pounder. 
I would say. Beautiful fish. <clears throat> See if we can catch one more. I'm not coming off it now unless it. I'm not coming off this now unless uh, the bat lot. Bream. Yeah. Let's see if we can catch one more. Lovely. Rolling a couple of maggots out to, to stun them. I'm fishing them on a size 16 N30. Natural N30. Oh, I've got a wasp on my hand. It's in the palm of my hand. Get off. <laughs> See if we can catch one more of them before we go home. Well, to the pub. I wasn't expecting that, but... Oh. Come on, one more. Go on, go under again. There you are. Wind's playing havoc when we're feeding. It's going everywhere. It's a bit better. Let's catch one more like that. While it's still, they've not, not had a bite while the canal's been moving. It's been, the only time you got a bite off the broom is when the canal's been sitting still. So now is the ideal time for it to go under, if it's going to. Because we're just sitting still, not moving at all. But a boat's just gone up, so he's going to be opening the locks very shortly. So I've got a feeling that will start moving again then. So if we're going to get our bite, it's going to be any now. Or it needs to be now. Come on, one more. That rig's actually my uh, track rig. It's a uh, half a gram pressed in power, which I've used for fishing the worms down the middle. The track just hasn't worked. I had them few early fish on it, a couple of roach and a couple of little perch and then couldn't get anything so I've moved over the canal it's actually about eight inches shallower on that line there and I fed some grain bait the mix I did originally this morning and I put some chopped worm and casters in it and I rolled a few maggots in there as well and then fishing double maggot over the top of it and it's starting to move now I think I'll be lucky to get a bite on it now We've not got long left either. How long we got left? Oh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Seven, eight minutes. Zolt saying eight, seven on my, my phone saying eight. Sorry? He said that you wanted a green line as well. Yeah, actually, he did. He says, are you going to go back on the bream line? And I says, I'm, <laughs> as I swung a two inch rouching, it's hard to come off those. And I said, I'll cushion if you don't go under. And then look what happened straight away, it went under. So look, he's got his chest sticking out and everything now. <laughs> ooh, ooh. You better not put that in. <laughs> you better not put that in. You better not put that in. Damn it. I think that was another one as well. Damn it.
It has. That's not a brain, though. Ooh, it's growing. <laughs> oh, damn it! That was a bream as well, wasn't it? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. the van now we've done the weighing in and I've weighed a level 14 pound which I'm really happy with I've lost a couple of fish one early one late either one of them could have won me the match it's looking it's looking likely that it could have won me the match because it feels it sounds like I may be second in the match uh, there's a 15 pound three ounce where's the one that was catching earlier on his bream didn't go quite as big as they as he thought they were and he's weighed 15 pound three, and he's had six fish for that. Um, I am disappointed that I've lost those two fish, but it happens, can't get them all out, can't win them all either. I'll be happy with second, and it might just sneak me in the end of the frame, we'll see. So I'm going back to draw HQ now, have a point or two, uh, while we wait for the results, and I'll keep my fingers crossed that I've done well and I'll let you know how I've got on. Hi guys, just a quick update on how the day and the festival finished. I actually ended up second on the day with a level 14 pound. I'm ruining those two fish that I lost. The first one right at the beginning of the match and then that last one right at the end, which was fair looked. It's just one of them. Um, 15 pounds, three ounces won the match, so either one of them would have won me the match. It would have been nice to have had a live match with a win, but I was close. Second, can't complain. Uh, festival wise, I finished 10th out of the 76 fishing. Um, you'll have to excuse me, I've got a little bit of a list because I had a bit of dental work done this morning. Yeah, so uh, I finished 10th out of the 76 and they paid 11, so I took some coin out of that as well, so not too bad. But if I'd have fished a better match on the second day, instead of fishing for bream and fishing for bites, I could have won that festival. But hey ho, made a mistake, made my decision on the day, fished to it, and oh well, still can't complain. 10th out of the 76, not too bad. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.